Martin Tyler here with you as usual and delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here. Harry Saint-Germain today involved in our match and they are up against Borussia Dortmund. Harry Saint-Germain, this is their lineup. In goal, Kevin Trapp. David Luiz plays with Thiago Silva as the centre-backs. Marco Verratti plays with Blaise Matuidi in the centre of the park. Edinson Cavani is the main striker today. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. In goal, Roman Berkey. Socrates Papastotopoulos starts alongside Mark Bartra in the heart of defence. Gonzalo Castro plays with Sebastian Roda in the centre of the park. And they'll play with a sole striker. Under challenge, that's good control. Ben Arfa. It's looking good, this move. Shot's on here. I don't think he was quite sure where the goal was as he took the shot on. It was good progress with this attack. And here comes the counter-attack. Bartra! Here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed. And it will be their throw. Marcel Schmelzer. Now he's looking for support. Oh, the possession squandered in a good position. And now they've got to get back. Matuidi trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Well, he's threaded the pass through neatly. Matuidi! So close to putting the cherry on the icing on the cake. Oh, I can't believe he's missed it. Missed the target. Missed a wonderful opportunity there. Gonzalo Castro made the challenge well. Now across Angel Di Maria. Defender to it first. Here's a chance to attack. Probing away. Trying to find room for a shot, maybe. And here's the shot. Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Baratti. Matuidi. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Uh, cut out by the defender. Well, the attack, which looks so promising, has now been stopped in its tracks. And now it's about defending. He went in well. And now the shot! And that's an excellent goal. They're in front now. Just touched in off the post, goalkeeper absolutely beaten. No, it's a wonderful strike, really crisp effort. So the first goal, it's 1-0. David Luiz. Baratti. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. He's better usually at crossing than that. It was a defender who got there first quite easily, actually. Made the challenge well. Baratti. Ben Arfa. Could be dangerous. Looking to play his teammate through. The shot's on! Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. And in goes the cross. Aurier! He's reached it and turned it aside. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Pastore! Oh, off target at such a crucial moment. They could have been level. I think the occasion got to him there. All he needed was a cool head, but couldn't supply it. Peace check.
in quickly, Javier Pastore. There's some potential in this move. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. On the attack here. Here's a chance, and they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. They play an open brand of football, so we shouldn't be surprised with a defender chipping in with one of the goals. But he looks a bit surprised. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's never scored a goal before, but uh, he found himself in the position. He didn't hesitate. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Just working away to try and find an opening. Ben Arthur. He's had a go. Well, you don't buy a ticket, as they say, and uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Mario Goetze. There's good progress with this attack. This might be it! He is a saviour there. Cavani. Ben Arfa. Comes in strongly. Well, we're still calling them Paris Saint-Germain. Alan, I know there's a big move afoot within the club to be called Paris FC. They want to simplify their name. Uh, there is in the lower levels of uh, French football a Paris FC already, so I don't know how they're going to work that out, but PSG still for us. Yeah, and a team now that's consistently uh, challenging at the top of European football and long overdue, really, because Paris has been punching beneath his weight for a long time. Shot up! Oh, charged down. And a corner given by the referee. Just really been on the outside looking in almost as much as us <laughs> from the commentary area, Edinson Cavani. The opposition must be absolutely delighted. They'll be hoping to restrict him to as few touches as he's seen so far. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. Stopped emphatically and just as well. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. Marco Reus. Came in with a challenge. now crisp defending there good play but they've lost the ball now and the opposition could get at them that's a good spot by the defender well that's gone back to the goalkeeper attacking well here That will be a corner. Well, one team has got a much better ratio of shots to goals than the other. Thiago Silva! Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Matuidi. Kozawa. 
Here's Motta. Matuidi. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Defender to it first. Royce. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Mark Batra. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And now he's looking for some support. Ah, oh, he's taken it away there with a very good tackle. Thiago Mota. Javier Pastore. Substitute for Paris Saint-Germain. Live at Kurzawa. Turn pass. Edison Cavani. It's looking good, this move. Probing away. Trying to find room for a shot, maybe. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Mark Batra. Peace check. Royce. Into the attacking third. Yeah, not the best contribution Thiago Silva's made today. He didn't give up, did he, the defender? We were just writing him off and look what happened. Strongly. Came in with a challenge. Javier Pastore. Well, that's not even close. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Marcel Schmelzer. Gregor Krikoviak. Javier Pastore. And he passes back. Cavani comes up with the goal again to add another to his long list of strikes for this team. Don't know what the keeper thought he was doing, but it didn't work out for him. And now he's got to pick the ball out of his net. Well, if he down, just launch it upfield, but he's tried to be a little bit more precise and well, he won't look back on that with any fondness. Start the game 2 1. Papasta Topoulos. Strong challenge. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. On the ball now, but definitely looking the worst for wear. Strong play by Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back. Well, we've got an injured player now, and the referee has called a halt. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. Now it's Hesse. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Well, they could have been opened up there, but the interception stopped that. 
It's been tough going for Paris Saint-Germain. Favourites to win this, but they're trailing in the closing minutes. Well, the crowd have been pretty quiet for most of the match, but they're cranking it up now. Right from the beginning, we've never known which way this game is going to go, and it, it's kept its drama right to the last. Now the goalkeeper's out, and he's got to the ball at the feet of the forward. Yeah, a lot to do with his good advanced starting position there. And he was in a position to close down the space quickly. It could lead to an e offside is the call. We can see it again, which of course the officials can't. No, they get one chance, and he's done well with his chance. He's made the correct call. Julian Weigel. <laughs> Referee has blown his whistle. 2-1 the final score. Pleased to win the match, I guess.